it was as if it was speaking to somebody who wasn't there. I always try to tell the truth. Swept underneath the table as if it was being dragged. Hey alligators, what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be me talking about my recent paranormal experiences in my old apartment and also this apartment now, even though I just moved in about a week ago. And before I even start talking about the things that I wrote down that I have been documenting for like the past couple years, I just wanna let you guys know, when I sat down to film this like five minutes ago, my camera stopped working. I just filmed two videos before this. I've literally never had an issue with this camera. Like it said it was recording and then it would just stop and then none of the footage would save because I was trying to make the thumbnail. And the SD card wasn't full. I have full battery right now. I have like 98%. I went and changed the battery. I went and changed the SD card because I have multiple extra ones just in case. And it still didn't work. Like there's literally no reason my camera shouldn't have been working. But when I sat down to film this specific video, it stopped. So it's almost like whatever is in my heart right now does not want me to talk about this. I'm like conflicted if I even should film this. But honestly, like I waited as long as I have to talk about this stuff on my channel for my last apartment because I thought that I would be fine once I move into the next one. And now stuff is happening here too. And I think I know why. And I'm just gonna lay everything out on the table. This isn't just like a specific story time. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of different experiences I've had. I have been documenting, like I have them written down. I have them written down on my phone. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you have probably seen me talk about some other paranormal experiences, most of which were not involved with my apartment. I think I shared one that had to do with my parking lot at my last apartment where basically my keys were found in a bush while I was in my car. It was like super trippy. I could not find my keys and then my car malfunctioned like the sunroof was closing and all this crazy stuff that actually ended up happening to me again like a week later which I never mentioned because that was after the video was posted and I got a lot of people saying that it was fake which you're always going to get those kind of comments on paranormal videos if you don't believe in the paranormal then you just don't believe in the paranormal it doesn't mean that people are making these sort of things up and I'm not going to sit here and say that every single occurrence I've had is 100% paranormal some of these could be coincidences or something else that's a little bit more logical but there are just so many things that it makes sense to sum it up as paranormal especially because some of these cannot be explained in any other way like the one that just happened at my apartment two days ago which is the reason why i wanted to just make this video being a scorpio i am able to pick up on a lot of that kind of stuff easier in my opinion just because it's the way my sign is we're a very dark sign and i am someone who is very fascinated by the deeper meanings to things in life and the paranormal and stuff that's a little bit more scary obviously i've done the ouija board i did it in my last apartment which is why i think i started to experience a lot of the stuff that I did. I'm gonna talk about those experiences and then lead up to the ones in my new apartment. So stay tuned throughout this video and let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this and how you think I should handle it. I'd honestly be down at this point to have somebody check out my apartment and like bless it or something. Get the psychic twins up in here. Just kidding. There's no way they would ever like do a video with me. And it's really not even about making a video. It's about feeling safe at this point because I just moved here and I'm not liking the vibes and what I've seen and it freaks me the heck out. So we're gonna take this way back to the start of when I first moved into that apartment like literally the week I moved in I didn't have any furniture yet there was a video on my channel I did with my friend Angie where we were unboxing things that you guys sent to my PO box and in that video I received a ton of comments about a red bag that was swept underneath the table as if it was being dragged like somebody had grabbed it box now from I'm excited table. you never know maybe it was a breeze from one of us moving something but I know for a fact that we did not have the fan on or the AC on or anything like that I never noticed it until I saw all the comments but you have to admit it's really creepy after this something huge that i noticed in that apartment the lights would always flicker if you guys watch me on you now i know for a fact you guys have seen this in streams before when i've streamed in my kitchen at my old apartment because the lights would always go off and on and at first i thought that the lights were just bad and so i would go ahead and replace them like i would go to the office and i would ask for new light bulbs but then my mom came to visit and so she got me like the super expensive nice led light bulbs you know that give you like whiter light so it's not the ugly yellow color and it was still happening with those but it wasn't like the light bulbs would completely break it would just flash a lot and like malfunction in that apartment the cabinets would automatically shut themselves like they weren't the kind that you could keep halfway open the ones here are they don't slam at all but in my old apartment they would automatically just slam shut they just couldn't stay halfway open like they were either open or they were closed and so i always kept mine closed because why would i keep them open right i would wake up and some of them would be open and also throughout the night, I would hear them slamming shut as if they were open and then someone shut them. And my ex, when he used to spend the night at my house, like he's gonna kill me if he ever sees that I said this in a video, but he would literally make me turn the lights on. So we had to sleep with the lights on because it freaked him out so bad. Like imagine waking up and you go out in your kitchen, like you open the door that's been shut all night and all of your cabinets are open. I live alone. It's not like I have a roommate who could have been doing this. And we would literally hear it happen. It was super, super scary. The next couple things I have to say are like even scarier in my opinion. This last one happened basically 
right before I moved out, I was laying down like on my back in my bed on the phone with somebody and out of nowhere, my hair swept over my face like that. The fan wasn't on, I wasn't touching my hair. There's nothing that could have blown it up over my head like that to cover my eyes. And I found out later that's not a good sign because they're messing with your head, like your physical head. I guess that means it's not a good spirit or ghost. It's like a dark paranormal thing, which like I was getting this sort of vibes towards the end, like it didn't want me to live there anymore because I would see shadows and just get dark, eerie feelings in my room. Like I genuinely believe there was something attached to my apartment, whether it was from the Ouija board or before I even got there. It was definitely messing with me a little bit. And then this is the last thing I'm gonna mention that happened in that apartment that was super freaky. And I'm gonna try to like give you an example of it also. You guys know my Alexa speaker, right? Alexa, play songs on Spotify. Resume Spotify. Alexa, pause. So you guys know the Alexa speakers, right? Where you can talk to them, they can play music. You can also ask them questions and I don't really know what it's called. I've only done it a couple times because the last time I did it is the time I'm about to explain and it was really freaky and I've never wanted to do it since then. But it's sort of like Siri where you can ask Siri questions. I don't know exactly what I said or what Alexa said to get us in this mode, but it was a mode where basically they said that universities, and if you have an Alexa, then you probably know what I'm referring to, but people at universities are basically on the other end or like recording it or something where you can ask questions and she will answer and you can like have a full on conversation and then she can ask you questions of what you think about the Alexa speaker in order for them to improve the product. It's something like that. Again, I was with my ex-boyfriend. It was like three in the morning. I swear that's like a super paranormal time. Like people say that, but it's true because a lot of the stuff does happen around three in the morning. And we had her in that mode and she wouldn't stop. We kept saying, Alexa, stop. Alexa, goodbye. Every time I say her name, she talked. We kept telling her bye. We kept telling her to stop talking and she kept talking, like she wouldn't stop talking. The stuff she was saying was really creepy, like she was talking about conspiracy type of stuff and like the government. Alexa, would you lie to me? I always try to tell the truth. I'm not always right, but I would never intentionally lie to you or anyone else. Alexa, what is the CIA? The United States Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. Alexa, are you connected to the CIA? Mm -hmm. I'm not even kidding. It freaked me out so bad. I wanted to cry. And then when she finally stopped talking, we had to literally unplug her, but then we had to replug her because I set my alarm on her because it actually gets me up. My phone alarm really does it because I'm so used to just like snoozing at all. So we plugged her back in and then we were laying in bed all cozy about to go to sleep and she started talking to us again. We didn't say her name. We didn't say anything. Keep in mind, this is the same room that my hair was swept over my face in probably like a week afterwards or a week before this. This was happening around the same time. Like a lot of stuff happened. I feel like towards the end of me living in that apartment. And so she kept talking to us and we weren't saying anything. We were literally like going to bed, like we were half asleep and she just lit up and started talking and we were so freaked out. Not only that, but I have one of those mirrors that light up. You guys can see it in my get ready with me's when you get close to it. And that mirror, which sat in my old apartment right next to Alexa would randomly light up and it's motion censored. And so imagine the Alexa, which is voice activated and your mirror for makeup, which is motion censored, both lighting up and like talking and stuff in the middle of the night. It was as if it was speaking to somebody who wasn't there and that we couldn't hear. That was a little bit too much for me and thankfully that was right before I moved out and so I thought I wasn't gonna have to deal with that here and I haven't had to deal with that specific thing happening to me here but let me tell you what did happen my best friend warned me this actually might happen it wasn't like I didn't believe her but I just didn't think this would happen to me I thought the odds were like really slim and I'm not saying that this is the reason why this stuff has been happening to me in this apartment it's possible that something carried over but like let me just explain you guys will see more of this when I do my apartment tour but I just got these two dressers from this thrift store and they were actually TV dressers, like the kind that they have at Motel 6, because apparently a Motel 6 in this area closed down. And so it has the three drawers and then the spot where the TV is. And so I got two of them because they were super cheap and I needed dressers. I don't want to buy them brand new because those are like thousands of dollars. And so my plan was to take out the TV spot and put a bar inside so that I could hang my clothes and then put curtains over it. My best friend Mala was like, just so you know, those may have like spirits in it or like ghosts attached to them because it happened to my mom when I was younger. And then we had like paranormal stuff happening in our house. Her mom is very, spiritual and like understands a lot of that kind of stuff like me and her mom have had full-on conversations about really personal stuff I'm not even gonna name like related to paranormal and I admit it is a little bit creepy that a motel 6 closed down I didn't want to know why it closed down I didn't ask any questions about that
that. I just knew that I was getting like a plug deal because they had a bunch of this furniture from the Motel 6 that was just donated to the thrift store. But you know how many paranormal experiences I've had at hotels or motels or how many ghosts live in motels and hotels? Like I feel like that's super common. And so basically ever since I got these, stuff has been happening here. I don't know why, but this stuff is like all happening in the bathroom and sort of my bedroom. But at home, actually considering the camera won't start in this room, it's probably my whole apartment. I don't know how I forgot to put this in the video, but the same day that I got the two dressers that I think are low-key haunted, my brand new ring light that I had just gotten broke. The other one that I had and that I used to film this video with, I've had for over a year. It's never given me issues. And this one broke after a day of living here, after I had used it like once. So it's plugged in and then I go to turn it on and then I even change the dim thing and it doesn't light up. And I even tried plugging it in here and I was using it last night when I went live on Instagram. So I don't know how this happened or how it went out, but it's not working and I'm so sad because I'm trying to film a video. I kind of want to see if it would work at like a friend's house or something because I really do think it has to do with whatever is possibly in my apartment. The lights in the bathroom have been flickering and it's like the same kind of flickering in the old apartment where it's like nothing's wrong with the light bulb. It's just flickering like that. My friend Emma was over the other day who used to live in my old complex and she would totally come in a video and vouch for this. She was like, dude, why is that happening in your bathroom? Like that's so annoying. It's like really creepy. I didn't think much about that until the next thing happened, which I'm going to tell you about. I was in here. I think I was cooking or something. I don't know. I was like in this area. There's like a kitchen right here and like this is my living room and I hear a vibrating noise coming from that side of my apartment and then I realize it's coming from my bathroom. So I go in there, go in my shower and I have a spin for perfect skin brush. I have a promo code if you guys want a discount by the way, but it's one of those brushes that takes your makeup off when you're washing your face before bed or when you wake up and so I keep one in my shower and it was facing straight up. Like nothing was leaning against it and the switch had literally been flipped for it to be turned on. There is no way that happened on its own. Like something is clearly in there. It literally sends chills down my spine like right now. And when this happened, I just had like the weirdest feeling come over my body. Like something is in my house. Like I hadn't even showered yet. Like it wasn't like I was just in there. It literally is a button you press. If you have one of these and you know, like it's basically a switch, something pressed it to turn on my spin brush. So it was like making a vibrating sound against the metal in there. And then it was like rotating. So yeah, don't know if this kind of stuff is related to the dresser or if the apartment was already like this or if it carried over from my last apartment or if this is like a different kind of thing. I know that I might have like made it angry by making this video, but that's because I pretty much plan on getting rid of it somehow. I'm gonna figure it out because I don't want this kind of energy in my home. And I was looking forward to getting rid of that if there was anything in the last one, which I'm pretty freaking sure there was, even though I didn't feel like it was bad energy until the end more so. But I mean, it's still freaky, even if it's like a nice spirit, like, I don't know. I would just like to have this apartment to myself you know so thank you for watching this video if you liked it please give me a big thumbs up if you would like to see a part two comment down below and also let me know in the comments what i should do about this i will literally make a video blessing the apartment getting rid of the spirit maybe we'll see some crazy stuff subscribe if you are new here turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button twice right next to the subscription box follow my social media i also have a patreon if you guys want private snapchat exclusive photo shoots extra videos etc and i will see you guys in the next video later all getters bye